What's up, everyone? Welcome to another Red Light Studios My GM NBA 2K15 Chicago Bulls episode. I said that in the wrong order. Once again, still getting used to this broadcasting and recording for YouTube business. I'm your host, Spartan number 29, and we're going to get underway here. Where we left off last episode, uh, we beat the Nets, shutting them out four games to none in the first round of the NBA playoffs. And now we go up against the Heat here, get a little home court advantage again to start it off at United Center. So, um, you know, we beat the Heat, I think, three or four videos back, um, which was, you know, not even close. They had to foul in the last few minutes um, to try and even come back in that game. Then before that, the, uh, the first game we played against them this season, Ray Allen hit that buzzer, beating three-pointer in the third episode of the series, uh, my GM. So things are looking good for Chicago, and I got to tell you, I really don't see us faltering at all despite Derrick Rose's injury. I know during the last video, I said that, you know, Derrick Rose, him not being here kind of stunts our offense, but it doesn't. And the reason for that is because in the fourth game of the Nets series, Trevor Ariza bangs down 26 points. So really, I am content to think that we can survive just fine without Derrick Rose when you guys got like Trevor Ariza. I think Jimmy Butler could pick up the pieces from point guard if he had to. So after this game against the Heat, I'm going to think about putting Jimmy Butler in at starting point guard and putting Steve Nash back on the bench at somewhere of a role player. Other than that, I have to tell you that I really want to see Amari Stoudemire improve more in the playoffs because when I saw him in the first few games against the Nets in the first game and then the fourth game, I really like where his offensive tempo is right now. And the fact that he's really just jamming the basketball down in the paint and getting wide open looks, feeds from, you know, Butler, Ariza, my, you know, backcourt guys, my front court guys, really doesn't matter. He's just putting all the pieces together and doing more of a better job, I think, right now, honestly, than Dwight Howard if that sounds correct or if it sounds, you know, misconformed, incorrect, not very applicable, I think it is. So consider putting Amari Stoudemire in at starting center when the time comes around that we might need a clutch situation. Now we look at Derrick Rose's injury as I exit out of the um, menu there to start the game. And if I look at Derrick Rose's injury right now, he's got a pulled calf muscle two to four weeks that now they're saying he can play through because he's not at red. So we can put him back in the rotation. I'm feeling confident that, um, you know, maybe actually now that I'm noticing this, he can get a little bit better um, into games, put him in there a little bit more. I don't want to start him yet because, you know, we got to be careful with Derrick Rose in the playoffs. He's, un you know, he's got that characteristic to get injuries a lot. So right now, I, uh, looking at our roster, we're just fire from all perspectives. Ray Allen, he played a large role in both uh, first-round playoff games that I actually played instead of the two middle ones, game two and three against the Nets, which I simmed. So now looking at other people, Josh Smith, he's content with his role. And, you know, besides I've been told by, you know, some of the viewers, some of the guys I know personally in real life who watch my videos, you know, uh, more of the feedback, how I'm running this franchise, you know, the, the Chicago and everything, they say I'm not doing it right. And let me tell you something. I think I'm running it pretty well and doing it right if we're um, – in the second round of the playoffs, Derrick Rose is injured, yet I've got a team that can still carry us, whereas I think if you actually had the team we started with this season, they wouldn't have been able to function without D. Rose. We got Dwight Howard instead of Jakeem Noah. We've got Paz Gibson instead of Pau Gasol, but not only that, we got Stoudemire instead of Pau Gasol and Miritich and Trevor Ariza. I think when you look at it from this perspective, it's much better our roster now, but not only that, I'm going to go a step further and say, you know, with the way I'm running this franchise, everyone says, oh, you know, you got all these old guys. Look at these ages here. Dwight Howard, 29 years old. He's still got another year on his contract. D. Rose has two more years on his contract, and he's 26, fresh almost. You know, he, he played Memphis five years ago, but that, that was five years ago. Everyone says, I have a old roster. No, Jimmy Butler, 25, Gibson, 29. My oldest guy is Paul Pierce. Actually, no, I, I take that back. I think it's 
Steve Nash, 41. But then Ray Allen, 39. Paul Pierce, 37. Mike Dunleavy, 34. I mean, Nazri Muhammad, 37. But the majority of my players, I mean, Dwight, let's tell all my players. I have, I think, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And out of those 15 guys, let's see how many are over 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, yeah, you got nine guys who are still fully able to stay on this roster. And, you know, I know contracts is a, is a scenario that I have to go through once this postseason is over. I'm hoping it won't be over till we win a title. I'm sure Eugene Pettit, the owner, is hoping that too. But if we look at contracts in terms of that perspective, the guys who I really want to keep around uh, have lasting contracts. Ariza has four years, 34 mil. I didn't even notice that until now. I knew he had multiple years. But looking at this, four years, that's three more years of productivity out of Trevor Ariza. That is amazing. Three years on Miritich. Stoudemire, he's doing a free agency. Pierce will be as well. Gibson, three years. Butler, one year. Derrick Rose, three. Josh Smith, one. Steve Nash, one. Ray Allen, one. Mike Dunleavy, one. Will Bynum, one. And Mohamed, one. So almost everyone on my roster is joining the free agency besides Howard, Rose, Gibson, and Ariza. And Miritich. But that is that is that is the potential for a, a starting five right there. You got D. Rose at point guard next season. Then you got... You know, Ariza, if we have to start him a shooting guard, I will if we don't have a good enough shooting guard by that point. But free agency is coming. Our finances, we're making a profit of $20 million. We can up that if we make it to the, you know, next set of the playoffs. We can really sell out tickets. Then you got everywhere you can go with this franchise. I mean, it's just so great. I'm overjoyed. Like Amari Stoudemire's moral, I'm overjoyed. Can you believe it? I mean, I, I'm literally happy about this franchise and where we're going. Now, let me tell you, run it, walk you through it really quick because I realize we're like five minutes into the video and I haven't done a single bit of gameplay yet. And I know my fans, the few and far between out there, love my gosh damn diddly dung gameplay. It's the only thing about my videos that are interesting. So let's go. Dwight Howard, center. Oh, oh I said everything wrong. All right. I was going to explain free agents. That's what I'm doing. So let's look here. And it's going to do the stupid checking for VC and transactions. Thank you so much, crappy 2K server, for doing this every time I want to do my GM. Yeah. So, upcoming free agents on the Chicago Bulls. Let's look. Player contracts. That's not where I wanted to go, actually. Um, actually, I think that is. So... Free agents, Dunleavy, Nash, Stoudemire, Smith, Butler, all the So the last people you see here, everyone you see here, and Paul Pierce. So let's think about this. Who we want back desperately. I know Paul Pierce and everybody loves him. He's, he's Paul Pierce. He's the truth. And look at our salary just before I, I touch more. Team salary totals $85.82 million. Salary cap room, there's negative $23.26 million. So free agency comes along. I don't know as we really have a lot of places to go here. We have so many stars who have such big contracts, and we really can't afford to take a hit. So Paul Pierce won't ask for much money, I think, if, you know, we're thinking about it. Actually, Paul Pierce says, I'm confused here. Okay, so now he has one. Is this one year left? I think that's one year left because it says 15, 16 season. He has 5.62 mil on his, unless he has a uh, player option. Um, I'm not sure. Let me look at the roster here. Pierce has one year. Um, so I'm kind of confused here about that. But um, if we're going to sign anyone from free agency, get him back. I got to tell you that Dunleavy and Butler, just because they're great three-point shooters and they're both younger than Ray Allen, are going to be up there. Ray Allen might be retiring next season, or this coming season, and he might go to be, become an assistant coach. So we want him here in Chicago. I, I don't know if you can retire numbers, but I'm hoping to. And so Josh Smith, when he leaves, I don't know if I really want him back. He hasn't produced that much for us. And we're all talking next year. You don't know what could happen next year. We could win a championship. You don't know. 
So that's the beauty of this. Um, Amari Stoudemire, I want him back. And besides that, I'm looking at really, the, I mean, Steve Nash is kind of a one-year kind of guy. He's here because D. Rose is unproductive, but he's 41. He's not, you know, his free throw and he's productive. He's one of the best. He is like the best assister of all time besides, I don't know, Scotty Pip. I, I don't know. He, he's one of the best assist point guards ever. So we don't really need him back, but Jimmy Butler. So if I had to pick three guys who I'd bring back next year, you're going to be looking at Mike Dunleavy, Stoudemire, and Butler. <clears throat> and then if I have room, Pierce and Ray Allen. But really that's assuming I have room. So we look here. It's going to do with stupid checking. Yes, yes, thank you so much. Social media. <clears throat> And let's just look at some social media because I haven't done this all series for this my GM so far, and I'm you know it, it, it's interesting to see um, what is going on here. So not really anything about us. Um, team stats. <clears throat> Nashville's gratified. Player conversations um, is organizational role. Um, Amari Stoudemire wants more playing time, and he's 100% about that, so he's better. He's Pierce not happy about minutes, and we're going to get more checking, I think. This is just really, wow, annoying. Um, and so, let's get to the, the playing of the game. The 2K Sports pregame show. We're going to get right into this one.